Okay, so welcome to Matstoria and let's solve this problem. So the application of a right triangle. So we have this given a 12 meter high post cast a 19 meter shadow. So if this is the 12 meter high post, this one is 12 meter, then the shadow is 19 meters. Then find the angle of elevation to the sun. So, if this is the sun, so the angle of elevation, so with the horizontal line, so if this is your line of sight, so the angle, that's always with the horizontal line. Now, based from the given, so if this is our reference angle, so this side is the opposite, and this side is the adjacent, using this mnemonic, the so ka toa so this is opposite over the hypotenuse adjacent over the hypotenuse and opposite over the adjacent so therefore since the given is opposite and adjacent so we're going to use this tangent theta tangent theta is opposite over the adjacent then substitute now the values, so tangent theta is equal to the opposite, that's 12 meters over the adjacent, that's 19 meters. So to solve now for tangent theta, so we have this uh, inverse tangent, then 12 over 19. So theta now is equal to, so we have this inverse tangent. Then open parenthesis, so 12, then divide by 19, close parenthesis, so theta is equal to 32.28 degrees. So theta is 32.28 degrees. So this is now the angle of elevation. Then for this given, so the angle of elevation from the boat to the top of a 92 meter hill so if this one is the 92 meter uh, hill 92 meter then the angle of elevation to the boat so if we have this the boat so the angle of elevation always uh, with the horizontal line this one is 12 degrees then how far is the boat from the base of the hill so therefore this one is the unknown so the distance from the base of the hill to the boat so based from this given so if this is our reference angle so we have this opposite and the adjacent so opposite adjacent that's two uh, opposite adjacent so using tangent so tangent theta is equal to the opposite over the adjacent but theta that's 12 degrees so tangent 12 degrees is equal to opposite that's 92 meters adjacent that's the unknown then do cross multiplication so this one is over 1 so we have x then tangent 12 degrees equals this one is 92 and then divide both sides by tangent 12 degrees divide by tangent 12 degrees so x now is equal to so we have 92 then divide by tangent 12 degrees that's 432.83 meters so this one is 432.83 meters so this is now the distance from the boat to the base of the hill then for this given so from the top of the control tower that's 250 meters tall so if this is the control tower this one is 250 meters tall then an airplane is sighted on the ground below so if this is the airplane 
if the airplane is 170 meters from the base of the tower, so the base of the tower, and this one is the airplane, so this is 170 meters, then find the angle of depression. So since angle of depression, so always with the horizontal line, so this is now the angle of depression. Then using the properties of the alternate interior angle, so if this one is angle theta, so therefore this angle is also angle theta. Then based from the given, so if we're going to use this uh, angle, so this one is the opposite and this is the adjacent, so therefore that's 2, uh, so opposite over adjacent. So we're going to use this tangent, theta is equal to the opposite, that's 250 over the adjacent, that's 170. Then to solve for the angle, so theta is equal to inverse tangent, then 250 over 170, so theta now is equal to so we have inverse tangent, then open parenthesis, 250, then divide by 170, equals, so theta is equal to 55.78 degrees. So theta is 55.78 degrees. So this is now the angle of depression. Then for this given, so from the top of the cliff, that's 280 meters high. So if this is the cliff, that's 280 meters high. Then the angle of depression of the boat is 25 degrees. So if this is the boat and the angle of depression, so always with the horizontal line, so this one is 25 degrees. Then how far from the base of the cliff is the boat? So therefore, this one is the unknown. So from the base of the cliff to the boat. So using the properties of alternate interior angle, so if this is 25 degrees, so therefore this angle is also 25 degrees. Then based from the given, so this is the opposite. And this one is the adjacent. So opposite over adjacent, that's tangent theta. That's opposite over the adjacent. Then theta is 25 degrees. So this one is tangent 25 degrees is equal to the opposite. That's 280 meters over the adjacent, that's x. Then do cross multiplication, so x times tangent 25 degrees is equal to 280. Then divide both sides by tangent 25 degrees, tangent 25 degrees. So x now is equal to, so we have 280 divided by tangent 25 degrees. That's 600.46. So x is equal to 600.46 meters. So this is now the distance from the base of the cliff to the boat. Then from this given, so from an airplane at an altitude of 1,200 meters. So if this is the airplane, then uh, the altitude, this one is 1,200 uh, meters, then the angle of depression to the rock on the ground, so if this is the rock, the angle of depression, always with the horizontal line, so this one is 28 degrees. Then find the horizontal distance from the plane to the rock, so if this is a uh, the plane and the rock, so this one is the horizontal distance. So the alternate interior angle, so if this is 28 degrees, so this angle is also 28 degrees. Then 
based from the given. So this one is the opposite. This one is the adjacent. So using tangent. So tangent 28 degrees is equal to the opposite. That's 1200 over x. Then cross multiplication. So x then tangent 28 degrees equals 1200 then divide both sides by 28 degrees so cancel so x now is equal to so we have 1200 then divide by tangent 28 degrees that's 2256.87 so 2,256.87 meters. So this is now the horizontal uh, distance from the plane to the rock.